How about strawberry mousse? This is made with real ingredients, as healthy as I can get them. We're using real organic whipping cream. We're using fresh strawberries that are organic, some maple syrup, keeping the refined sugars down, and uh, some vanilla extract. This is very decadent, very creamy and smooth, and you're gonna love it. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. So how do chefs show their love? They whisk you off your feet. To start off our easy recipe, we're gonna just take our strawberries and give them a little rinse before we cut off the stems. All right, so now we'll take our strawberries and place them into a blender. So I have about a pound and a quarter of strawberries here. These aren't real sweet, but they're kind of medium. So I'll probably put a medium amount of maple syrup in this and you can always taste it and see how, you know, if you need to add more or not. Now we want to pour the strawberry puree through a fine mesh strainer so that we get all the seeds out. And this is going to ensure that our strawberry mousse is nice and creamy. Now this is going to take a good five minutes to do, so just be patient with it. You can encourage this by pressing down with your spatula. Since my strawberries aren't that sweet, I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of maple syrup to this. We'll give that a little stir, and then I'm gonna add some bourbon vanilla extract. We're gonna cook the puree now by pouring it into a saucepan here. And the reason for doing this is to intensify the strawberry flavor. We're gonna cook it down, and the flavor is gonna be much more intense. Now you wanna get the temperature up to a simmer where you see the little bubbles like you do here. And we'll simmer it like this, stirring regularly for about 10 to 12 minutes. The puree should reduce down by, say, one quarter. But make sure you keep stirring it so it doesn't burn. While the puree is cooling, now we're going to take our beef gelatin. I'm using this grass-fed beef here. Uh, and we're going to add just a little bit to give our mousse a little bit of firmness. So I've got some water in this bowl here, just about a tablespoon. And I'm just going to go with a teaspoon of this gelatin. You can use any brand you want. Gelatin like this is high in amino acids and it's very good for our health. And then we'll just stir it up and we're gonna let it sit about three minutes. It's gonna get really thick like this. It's so thick I couldn't even pour it out. I'm gonna place this in the microwave for 10 second increments until it's completely dissolved. It typically takes me about 15 seconds total to get this nice and dissolved like this. So now we need to temper this gelatin. See, it's nice and clear here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the hot puree and I'm going to put about two to three tablespoons in it and stir it up. And then once that's stirred up, then I'm going to add it back to the pot of puree. This will bring the temperature of the gelatin up gently without making it clump. So we'll stir that back into the pot and then we'll let this cool. The quickest way to cool this down is by filling a pot with some ice water and putting the hot pan in the ice. So the last thing we have to do is whip up some organic heavy whipping cream. I like using clover organic whipping cream because the only ingredient in this is cream. Of course we have to add a little more vanilla extract and I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of maple syrup. And maple syrup, the flavor really lends itself well to this whipping cream. I'm going to use a whisk to whip this up, but you can you know, certainly use a hand mixer or a KitchenAid mixer. Once you get firm peaks like this, then you're ready to add the chilled strawberry puree. Pour in that intense flavored strawberry puree and we'll fold it in very gently. Once you don't notice any more white streaks and the color is uniform, then you know you're done. I like to serve these up in individual dishes like I have here, and then we'll refrigerate them at least four hours so that they firm up just a bit more. And I got six servings out of this. I day. slice up a strawberry and the two ends look like hearts. And place a little dollop of whipping cream right on the top and then add your strawberries and toss in some blueberries. The blueberries go really well with this and really complement the strawberry flavor. This is really decadent, creamy, delicious, flavorful. It has enough strawberry flavor. You are going to love it. It is fantastic. If you want to try another easy and quick dessert, check out my chocolate covered strawberries. And I'll even show you how to do that white little drizzle on there. It's delicious. Click the link on the screen. It'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, show me some love by smashing the like button. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.